Hi everyone, my name is David Capetti and welcome to this Rhino, Grasshopper and V-Ray tutorial. In this tutorial, I was going to share the way to set up this V-Ray scene with an environment, with a reflective ground, and we will put an object in here to see what it looks like. We'll also save the settings. And then I actually didn't show this, but we can here at the bottom show corrections control and we can either go to exposure here and change and update the render without having necessarily to go to Photoshop always right away. We can do some of this stuff here, like playing with the levels and all that stuff. So what I'll be doing is going over all of that information. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. So to set up our V-Ray scene, what I'll do is open up our V-Ray Asset Editor. And in here, we have all of our options so we can set up our scene. So we'll go here to Settings. This is where you can pick up here the quality. Now, for the most part, I keep it in medium and that's because I kind of want to do a faster render. But if you do have like a final product or something, you would change this to a higher quality and you would leave it overnight or, you know, it could take up to, you know, multiple days. So now I'll go here to camera and I'll keep it standard here. The only thing that will change would be the exposure. Um, so it can, you know, make it brighter or lighter. Render output. This was going to be how big your image is going to be. So typically I do 1920 by 1080. And save frame allows you to see the extent of what render you're going to do. So sometimes I'll turn that on at the end. One of the last things I do is an environment. So if you have an environment, typically you already have a default environment that comes with V-Ray. This is where you would pick a different image to change your environment. So those are the basic ones. The one that I typically do also is denoiser. It, I know sometimes it doesn't give me the best results to be honest, but it does smooth out a lot of the grainy, uh, grainy portion of the image that I don't like. Um, and when it gives me kind of like that crisp image, it, it's just a lot easier. I don't have to do post-processing. If I don't turn this on, then I have to do that after the fact. Um, and the higher the quality, the better. The update effects, I have not got into that. Um, but with that being said, that's for the most part all that I use. The other thing I do is I'll create a new PBR material and make sure that it's black and that the roughness is like 0.1 and I'll use that for the ground right so with these settings let's go to denoiser on all of this is good let's change our environment now uh, one of the things that I would like to share is HDRI Haven so there's this website. And this website has a bunch of HDRIs that are free. Um, so you can get like a studio, you know, studio set, um, go to, let's go to studio small five. And they have the different quality ones. The higher the quality, the longer it'll take to render, but obviously better reflections and better lighting. Um, so I'll keep it at 4K. And I'll download this one and use this one as my studio. So I'll go to here. I'll put it on my desktop. And now when we go here back to V-Ray, and we go to our environment background. We can pick our desktop studio as our lighting. So as you can see now, 
the environment is the studio. Let's go back to our settings. And now let's actually add a few things to our scene. The first thing I do is I'll type in ground plane and that'll give you this tab or it'll be floating here but I typically like to keep them here in tabs and I'll go to turn it on that will turn on the ground plane and by default it automatically sets it to what whatever the lowest object is it'll set the ground plane at that location let's go ahead and change this material to the ground material and now let's go to create a few objects so let's go to this tube make three different tubes just copied them over a few times and now when we take a look at it in rendered mode you'll see that now we have the ground reflection we have the environment and we have our objects here so let's go ahead and bring this back let's look at our environment that looks okay and now let's take a look at what it looks like by clicking on b-ray render interactive so we can take a look at what it looks like now as you can see it's too dim and that's because our studio is a it's really light so this is where we would increase our multiplier on our environment so if our background environment is one let's switch it to five now let's take a look at what it looks like so now you can see that it has a bit more information but it's still not enough and what it is is the studio is a little bit too dark uh, so let's go back to a different one and we could do something like this one and let's download the 4k one here and we'll use that one so let's change it up and if you have v-ray interactive on it'll update automatically when we go back and change that So let's have it render and I still have the value as a high number but as you can see we have way better reflections we have better you know information here uh, now you will see that background image so unless you do it as a PNG um, that's going to be a little bit of an issue but if you're just doing the object by itself that'll give you realistic lighting so let's go here and I'll actually stop. I'll bring back an outdoor one and let me go to my libraries here. So I have this one that says noon grass so that should give us an interesting outdoor look let's take a look at it in rendered mode and I know I have this image let's see here in our environment it's at five we can decrease that if we wanted to um, or increase it to make it brighter the other thing is decreasing this number to make it brighter too so if you go to camera exposure if you lower the exposure you'll have brighter information and we can even lower the background environment and increase or uh, change the exposure here so that's basically how i set it up the next tutorial what i'll do is show you how to apply some materials um, 
but this is the way that I render. And once you have this finalized, we can go to save and save this as a PNG or a JPEG and then go to like Photoshop or something and enhance it further. So I just deleted those cylinders. Let's go back to shader mode and I'll bring back I'll bring back the script that I had before with this model and I'll just bake this form. Now that we have this form, we can render this one as an outdoor object. Now if you still don't like the environment and would like to change it, that's where HDR Haven comes into place because they're they have a lot of really cool outdoor ones. Let's go check some outdoor nature and we'll do this one. Looks like a nice envi uh, environment here. Let's download an 8K one. We'll put it on our desktop and then use that for our environment again. So there's a, you know, playing around with it, figuring out what's going to be the best look. And it takes some time. So sometimes I go kind of quick to show you guys how to do it, but I want to make sure that you guys have the, a good final result here. And that looks a lot better, more realistic. So let's go to stop. We'll do render preview. Now to make it brighter, it's a little bit counterintuitive in that sense that the lower the number, the brighter it'll go. If we go to 10, it'll actually make it a little bit darker. And with our material, which is going to be our ground material, if we change our roughness to zero, it'll be a perfectly reflective ground. We could do 0.01. Just give it some roughness, 0 0.05. Okay, now I'm going to go back to turn off the render preview. And the next thing is we'll go to our settings here and now if this is what we like it's important to save the settings right so you can come back and instead of having to readjust everything again we can just save this and open it up again so I'll go to save and what I do is I have a folder with all of my different libraries and one of my folders says V-Ray render settings so I'll go to V-Ray next, and I'll call this um, medium outdoor. You know, and then you could even put the date. So we'll do 2021, 04, 10. Oh, I think it's trying to open it. So <laughs> we'll just copy this and we'll actually click on this one. So I messed up. That's going to be to open. This is going to be to save. So I'll just paste this name. We'll go back to our folder. And this is where we're going to save it. So we'll hit save. And now to open it, we'll go to open. We'll go to medium outdoor with today's date. Now we can open it up and just render it, right? So that is how I set up my scenes. I'll go ahead and render this one out and show you what it looks like at the end. I know it's kind of the uh, base, very basic geometry that we are rendering, but the next time I'll show you how to 
add some high quality materials um, and after that we'll go into more lighting stuff so this is just the start let me know if you have any questions i know i went over a lot of stuff here um, so i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you next time thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you'd like to find a way to contact me you can go to capettidavid.com where i have my services other videos lessons video scripts and there's also an ability to be, uh, subscribe and become a member there's a small fee but what you'll be able to do is contact me directly download the scripts and access a lot of the things that i don't post on youtube if you enjoy the content make sure to subscribe to the youtube for future videos and i hope to see you next time